I bought three capture cards on Wish.com, USB 2.0, USB 3.0, and a console capture card. I probably got scammed, but let's find out together. Let's immediately open the cheapest capture card. This was, if I remember correctly, seven or eight dollars, which to be honest is kind of crazy. And this is just a straight copy of the Elgato Cam Link. And to test this capture card, I connected an HDMI to this camera here, and I will connect all the cards here on the side. So now in OBS Studio, we can just add a video capture device to see the result. However, before doing that, I want to tell you about the sponsor of today's video, which is Own.TV. Own.TV is a big graphics web shop for streamers with things like complete overlay packages to personalize your stream, an emote maker that lets you customize your own emote and then buy the designs that would be most fitting for your stream or your Discord group, a very similar badge maker, then pre-made sub badges, bit badges and emotes. Many of my community have already bought from them. I will add their link to the description and don't forget to use my code TVN for 50% of your price. So let's look at the result of this $7 capture card. And as you can see, the quality definitely isn't bad. Now in terms of delay, there definitely is one, but it's way lower than I would expect. I will clap in my hands and I will clearly see the delay. Now I'm gonna put this mic on the side because I wanna compare the capture card to this Elgato one, which costs around 130, I'm not sure. By the way, there are other options, but this is the only premium capture card I have lying around here. And to be honest, on the first look, the difference isn't as big as I expected. So now before checking out these other capture cards, I quickly wanna test the gaming capture performance of this card here. Because games are completely different than this camera here, and they might give another result. So what I'm gonna do since I don't own a console is I'm gonna use that PC as a console. I'm gonna record a game here. Then I'm gonna keep the footage playing connect this HDMI to that PC, then connect the other side through one of these two capture cards into that PC. Since then we will be able to compare the exact same footage for these two cards. So as you can see here, I'm gonna record in 1080p 60fps and I'm gonna record a few different things here like shooting, maybe quickly looking around here and clearly bring the details into the screen because I think this combined with quickly looking around is where the difference will be between these cheap and expensive capture cards. Okay, so so the recording is finished, it is playing on the screen right now and it's also playing here on this PC through this capture card. And we will look at the final results in a minute, but this looks very, very, very decent. By the way, quick note, if you wanna buy one of these and you don't wanna wait a month on Wish.com, I will also look this up on Amazon and then add the links in the description. They will probably be a bit more expensive, but you will have them in a few days. So the recording is finished. Now it's time to test the Elgato one. So keep in mind, this costs more than 15 times the amount. So right now we are looking at the footage recorded by the $7 capture card from Wish.com and this is the result of the Elgato Cam Link. And overall the footage of this cheap capture card looks pretty good, however when we zoom in on specific elements it's very clear that it's absolutely not sharp. When comparing it to the Elgato capture card, there's a very clear difference in details and sharpness, but I don't think that's unexpected when comparing a $7 capture card with a $130 card. Now, if you put the overall recording side by side, then the difference is less obvious, but it's still definitely there. Now, a common complaint I read online is that the colors look a bit too yellow and that the final footage looks kind of washed out. However, this can easily be improved with color grading. I made a preset for the grade you just saw and you can easily install it in OBS Studio. In OBS you simply right click the capture card, go to filters, then you add an effect filter and choose apply LUT. Click on OK, then click on browse here, go to your downloads and then choose the LUT you just downloaded from my description. Now one big downside of this Wish.com capture card is that it's 30 FPS and not 60. And that's why I also bought this capture card here because it should be better quality and more FPS. Now the price of this Wish card was higher than the other cheapest card, however it's still not close to something like a cam link. I just did a bit of tweaking and this card is so much more impressive than the $7 one, it's actually crazy. I am so looking forward to testing this one since it's clearly from the same people. Now this here is the result of the $13 Wish.com card, the grey one, and it looks absolutely gorgeous. Pay attention to the name of the gun on the bottom right and I will switch to the other card in 3, 2, 1, now. Now as you see this is much more blurry and lower quality. 
And if we compare the details and sharpness of all three cards, it's very clear that the $7 Richard Com card was definitely decent for the price, but that the $13 card blows it out of the park. Same thing when you look at the gameplay of the three side by side. So the thing I want to test now is the difference between the grey card, the $13 one, and then the Elgato Camlink, because it seems like they're not that different. So this here is footage of the grey Wish.com card. And then when we put the Elgato card next to it and zoom in a bit, the difference in quality is not that big and the main reason they do look a bit different is the color because as you can see here the color of the Elgato one is definitely better and more natural however as you can see on this example here on the left I created a color grade that makes them almost identical the link to the color grade will also be in the description and as you can see when we compare the $13 wish.com card to the original 1080p footage it's almost the same thing so this card is an amazing deal I also found a few cards that are similar to this on Amazon so you can get it quicker. I will link it in the description. Now one big downside of this card that you need to keep in mind is that the 1080p 60fps that's advertised doesn't work. It's either 1080p 30fps or 720p 60fps. This here is an example of the quality when recording in 720p. However you won't see the 60fps since this YouTube video is 30fps. And apparently the same thing counts for this card as well. However they are not lying on the pack they are saying that it's 1080p 30hz. The grey card on the other hand is actually false advertising. Now I looked at a lot of the gaming footage to test everything and the 30fps didn't really bother me. There's a difference between gaming in 30fps or watching a game in 30fps. When you're moving your mouse or your controller and it's 30fps then it's actually gonna feel like input lag but when you're watching a game in 30fps that doesn't really bother me. However what definitely does bother me is the delay when gaming with a capture card like this. So this one is connected right now and to recap this is our console. Let's see it's a PlayStation there is an HDMI going from our PlayStation into this capture card here and then the capture card is going into our PC and this is the result in OBS Studio. So when you have a single capture card like this this is the cam link the other one is connected you have no other option than to game in the OBS preview because the output of your console that you usually connect to a TV or a monitor to game on now goes goes into this capture card and that goes into your PC. So the only way to see it is to add a video capture device here and then add it for example here USB video. But as you see here when I move my mouse there definitely is a delay between me moving and then things happening on the screen. And when you want to for example track a moving enemy like this you're gonna have a bad time because it's practically impossible. So that's where a card like this comes in but I got a cheaper option to test which is an HDMI splitter. So instead of connecting an HDMI to your console and then connecting the other side to a capture card that goes into your PC we now take the HDMI splitter and then plug it into our console like this and then we connect two HDMI cables to this splitter and as a result of that you now have two HDMI signals with your game one of them goes into the capture card and then in the PC like before this will give you your game in OBS studio through the capture card but then you have another screen to connect your extra HDMI to and I just tested everything and it actually works this screen is perfectly smooth and then this one here can be recorded or can be streamed etc so I'm gonna click on this settings icon here and you're gonna see that it pops up here first and then this one will be delayed so i'm gonna click in three two one now and as you saw this one pops up first this one is behind and this screen feels perfectly smooth and then this one here is going through the capture card so it means that the colors here are much better it's also 60 fps instead of 30 because this is just a clean hdmi signal going from the console into the screen so you can clearly see if i click through the menu here that the left screen is much quicker now this capture card that we also bought is basically a combination of this one plus the splitter i also connected it here to quickly test it so an hdmi HDMI goes from your console into the card then the video from your console that comes in here goes through USB to your PC and there's also a power cord that's also USB and then the HDMI out here this can go to your second screen so just like with the splitter we can now test the delay by just doing things on the screen it feels very smooth kind of the same thing as with the other card and when I click on the settings icon here you can see that the delay is kind of the same I'm quickly gonna move through the menu here so you can see the actual delay 
and just like with the other card this screen is perfectly smooth and this one here has a delay but it's being recorded and streamed i'm also gonna quickly do the 1080p 60 fps test that we did with all the other cards so we can compare them mainly because i want to see how this card does compared to this one here so the test is running right now this also looks like a very decent card and the thing i want to know the most is if it's gonna be 1080p 30 fps like the other cards or 1080p 60 fps okay so what you see now is the result of the wish.com console gaming capture card and i'm not sure how noticeable it will be on this youtube video but it looks very choppy especially in these parts where i'm looking around very quickly it looks like it's 15 fps instead of 30 and definitely not 60. this card here that i showed in the beginning is what this card is based on but as you see here it costs almost 200 dollars on amazon while some copies of this gray capture card from wish that we tested cost around 19 and some of the hdmi splitters are really cheap anyways this is what the elgato capture card looks like it's definitely very smooth it's 1080p 60 fps the quality is good but as we just went over it's almost 10 times the price so it has never been this easy for me to reach a conclusion this capture card here from wish.com costs around 13 dollars and it's almost the same quality as this elgato camlink but it's 30 fps instead of 60. then if you want something like this for console gaming where you can have a separate screen that has a clean hdmi signal to game on without lag then the only thing you need is an hdmi splitter like this in combination with the cheap wish.com card and this right here is a perfect combination so i will add wish.com and amazon links to all of these in the description this one here is clearly my favorite if you want to know about finds like this earlier before i make a video on it you can follow me on instagram because i've been sharing stories about this card for a few days already thank you so much for watching subscribe to the channel like the video and i will see you in the next one have a nice day.